First inter-squad scrimmage in the books here from Kessler Field. Matt Horman along with head coach Kevin Callahan on Hawk Vision. And coach, obviously a couple weeks into camp now, the first inter-squad scrimmage. I'm sure you had a ton of questions going into today. How many of them did you get answers to? Well, you know, the, the big question is, you know, would we be able to sustain the hard work and the high energy level that we've had throughout the first two weeks of camp? And, you know, I think we answered that, and you know, in a big way that we certainly did. And, you know, I've got to give our team a lot of credit, you know, throughout these first two weeks and, and coming off actually um, 10 practices and six days this week, um, there hasn't been one practice where I felt we lacked energy or we lacked enthusiasm. And because of that, we've been able to get an awful lot done. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy where we're at overall. Um, there's obviously always things that you need to get better at. But, but I, I, I like the way that you know, offensively we showed some explosiveness. We were able to hit, hit some big plays. I think we showed that we're, we're deep in some positions. We got a number of receivers uh, who can make plays for us. Uh, we got a number of running backs who can do some things with the ball, you know, and, and tight ends and, and then on the other side I think you know one of the big things going into spring practice and also this fall was to generate a pass rush and I think we showed today that you know we have the ability to get up the field and we have speed on the edge now and you know there's a couple secondary uh, coverage breakdowns late you know later on in the scrimmage but you know for the most part I thought we did a good job in that area. One of the things that I thought was impressive, and I'm sure you did also, was there was big plays on both sides of the ball, a couple of long touchdowns, and I know there's the defensive coach, that would bother you, but the defense had a couple of interceptions and made some big plays. You mentioned the pass rush was certainly better today than it was all of last year, and I would think that's what you're kind of looking for out of today, a little bit of, of both sides of the football doing well. Well, it, it is, Matt, and uh, you know, I think if you come off an inter-squad scrimmage and one side totally dominates, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, you want to have some balance. You want to see guys making plays, and, and honestly, you, you want both sides to make plays. You want to be able to believe that you can make plays on offense and make plays on defense, and I think that's what we did see today. You know, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to clean up some penalties, particularly the offsides and false starts, which are things that we absolutely can control. Uh, I think we had eight penalties today, and seven of them were of that nature. One was a hold, but you're going to get one hold every game. Um, so, you know, but there's some things we can clean up even from an execution standpoint, but we have one more week at camp, and I feel good that we'll do it. One of the great things about preseason through the first two weeks is the position battles that might take place. You know, players obviously trying to figure out who could start, who might be in the rotation among the different units. I mean, what's been the most competitive in terms of who could be in, in the mix for playing time? Well, I, I think, you know, on the offensive side, it's the running back position. Um, you know, as you saw today, we have four guys that, that could do some good things. You know, you've got Bilal Slonell, you've got Peter Nagy, who had some big runs today. Uh, you, you've got um, uh, freshman Julian Hayes, who's, who's a, more of a power runner, and uh, Corbina Asante. They're all guys who, you know, have had impressive days throughout camp. You know, I don't think that picture is completely clear yet, other than we know we have four good guys there. Um, you know, we I think we're deep at the tight end position, and the other position where there's quite a battle is the receiver position on offense. Um, it might be as deep as we've been at the receiver position in some time. You know, with Neil Sterling and Mitchell Pollard and Lamar Davenport and Darvin Henderson, and as you saw today, uh, you know, a couple of the younger guys, uh, Tristan Roberts and uh, uh, even Eric Sumlin, um, they, they all have the ability to make plays for us. So um, that position isn't completely solidified yet, but I like what we have there to work with. Over on the defensive side, um, the middle linebacker spot isn't settled yet. Um, you know, Chris Mastrangelo and Dan Sullivan are really in a battle for that position. And, you know, I think, you know, they both made some plays today. And then we're still looking for that other safety, um, who that other safety is going to be to play opposite uh, Jose Gum. So, you know, today he only played the first half for the most part. And then it was all the other guys playing the rest of the, the, the scrimmage to kind of figure out if one of the guys could separate himself from the others. Coach, obviously now you'll have a couple days uh, in between this scrimmage and the next scrimmage, which will be on uh, Friday, August 26th. What do you work on practice this week? Is it more just continued uh, transitional players as the game plan now for Lee I start to kind of take a, take effect a little bit? Well, the, the, we still have to really focus in on some situational things, and, and that's what these next, we'll have live uh, scrimmage periods on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Uh, one of them will be a focus on a red zone period. Uh, we have done that prior, but we didn't do any of that today. Uh, we'll really focus on two-minute situations situations coming out you know trying to knock the ball if one were backed up on the goal line four minute offense and, and try to get those situational type things ready or, or get them game ready I should say so that'll be the bulk of what we're doing this week and then as we get toward the end of it Thursday we'll start turning the attention toward Lehigh have our last scrimmage on Friday and then come back to work on the weekend everything toward Lehigh all right coach enjoy the rest of the weekend we'll see you next week thanks Matt appreciate it 
First inter-squad scrimmage all wrapped up here from Kessler Field. The next one on August 26th. And then, of course, the first Saturday here in September from Kessler Field, it's Lehigh who will come to town and take on the Mammoth Hawks. For more on this game and all Mammoth sports, check out GoMUHawks.com.